Oprah Winfrey is a legend for a lot of reasons. She's one of the most famous talk show hosts. A lot of people love her, both in America and all over the world. But for others, well, let's just say she isn't the flavor of the month. In this video, we're going to look at how she has rubbed a few famous faces the wrong way. First up, let's look at the bad blood between Ludacris and Oprah Winfrey. All right, we think that Oprah wasn't the best host in this situation because making someone feel unwelcomed kind of goes against the whole job description, right? Let us explain. Basically, legendary rapper Ludacris was a last-minute guest on The Oprah Winfrey Show and then got to the taping, he had a quick conversation with a talk show host and wasn't even allowed to accurately express what his work is. Instead, he was just there to be the token rapper that Oprah was empowering by allowing him to be on her show. Not only did she pigeonhole him into a singular role, but she also completely ignored the fact that he's also a mega-talented actor. Talk about feeling blindsided. Ludacris put it accurately when he said that it was like being a guest at a person's house who didn't really want you there or want to have anything to do with you. So with this entire situation in mind, we think his resentment of the talk show host is pretty fair. Maybe this wasn't an insulting situation, but we think that. Next up, we need to talk about the relationship between Janet Jackson and Oprah. Honestly, the more we learn about the contentions that Oprah's guests have had with her, the more we take the side of her guests. Seems like sometimes she lets the star power get to her head. Anyway, while this doesn't happen on air, like the ludicrous debacle, it happened just before the show went live, with sources close to the show saying that there was an explosive phone call between the two superstars before the interview could begin. What was the reason for that? Well, let us explain. Janet was super mad at Oprah because she couldn't believe that Oprah had the audacity to invite her brother, Michael Jackson's children, onto the show in 2010 after their father had passed away. From Janet's perspective, this was just a dirty trick used to encourage increase ratings, and she was furious. With sources spilling the tea on how she felt this was incredibly disrespectful to Michael's memory. Well, Janet Jackson gave Oprah a piece of her mind, calling her up minutes before the show was to go live. And when Oprah refused to back down, Janet screamed at her, Oprah, you make me sick. Whoa, imagine making one of the biggest names in music that mad. Up next, we need to talk about the delusions that Chris Brown has. This one is all kinds of unbelievable. But what can you expect from someone like Chris Brown? When the domestic abuse allegations came out against the rapper, like anyone with even the slightest bit of morality and ethics, Oprah dropped him like a hot potato, warning his then-girlfriend Rihanna in a domestic violence special that Brown would hit her again. Of course, this annoyed Brown because he could never imagine being held accountable for his actions. So he told the news outlet People in an interview that he felt hurt by Oprah's remarks. It was like a slap in his face. Can we appreciate the irony here? He felt blindsided because he had done so much for Oprah's charitable endeavors that he felt that she should have treated him better. Well, we just have to say that he had another thing coming if he expected to be treated nicely as a convicted abuser. When Winfrey got wind of his whining, her reps issued a statement acknowledging his efforts but also ignoring his drama by focusing on how his actions were part of a larger structure of domestic violence and she ethically couldn't support him anymore, hoping that he would get the professional help he needed. We're team Oprah on this front. Now let's talk about the surprising snub from star Angelina Jolie. This wasn't a direct insult, come on. Both Jolie and Winfrey are too professional and classy for that. But in any case, it was Angelina Jolie's way of showing both the world and Winfrey what she really thought of her. Back in the early 2000s, Oprah Winfrey was launching a charitable program called the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa. Sounds super cool, right? Well, if you were in Winfrey's place, it's a no-brainer that you would tap on the skills and the prestige of one of the world's biggest humanitarian who loves Africa to promote your project, right? Oprah must have thought the same because her team reached out to Angelina, but they were snubbed in response. Wait, why? Well, according to insider sources, this snub came from the fact that Angelina Jolie had allegedly never forgiven Oprah for siding with Jennifer Aniston during the split that was the result of the Jolie, Aniston, and Brad Pitt love triangle. That seems like a super petty reason to not help out in a project that's bigger than a dumb relationship. But oh well, Oprah also learned her lesson and apparently swore to never ask Jolie for help with any of her projects ever again. And now, let's talk about the incredibly insulting interaction between Oprah and Joan Rivers. This one will go down in the history books as one of the biggest fallouts in television history. This time, however, the roles were reversed. Instead of Oprah sitting in the interviewer's chair, she was being interviewed by renowned celebrity Joan Rivers. And let's just say that their conversation went from bad to worse. During Winfrey's first ever national 
TV appearance, Grim Rose took it upon herself to needlessly fat shame Winfrey. Their conversation started out pretty normal when suddenly Rivers began to ask her about her weight, demanding to know how and why Winfrey had become so fat. While she didn't use the world, it was heavily implied and forever changed the tone of their relationship. To make matters worse, Rivers kept pushing the subject, telling Winfrey that the next time she sees her, Winfrey better be 15 pounds lighter. Years on and we still have no idea how to react to such crude remarks. Well, it turns out that Rivers actually pretty much hated Oprah because according to some sources, she thought her to be super opportunistic and one of the biggest phonies in the world who exploited people's suffering and turned it into entertaining TV. Well, talk about being a bitter queen. Up next, we take a look at how intensely 50 Cent hates Oprah. As outsiders, we think the way 50 Cent has gone about expressing his rage is kind of super funny. But had we been in Oprah's position, our reaction would have been completely different. Way back in 2006, the rapper called Winfrey an Oreo, complaining that she rose to fame talking about the issues and problems faced by black women in America, but slowly warped into a talk show host that existed to cater to the tastes of the middle-aged white American women. His distaste for her ran so deep that he even named his doggy a miniature schnauzer Oprah as an insult directed at the television personality. In 2012, things took a turn for the better because the two hashed their differences out during an interview special for Oprah's next chapter. 50 Cent explained that his bitterness stemmed from the fact that Oprah didn't give much airtime to hip-hop artists and his discouragement of the use of the N-word. For him, it was like she was trashing on black culture, trying to dilute it so that it would be more palatable for white America. Ultimately, they may have expressed how they feel about each other, but we think that they aren't the best of pals. And finally, we need to talk about the way Seal really feels about Oprah Winfrey. This one was a bit of a shocker for us to learn about as well. But in any case, the relationship between Seal and Oprah is a super rocky one. Remember when the Harvey Weinstein scandal came to life? Well, a lot of stars were quick to distance themselves from him, cutting their ties and disavowing their relationships in the past. And on top of that, many leading female voices in the entertainment industry used the Weinstein scandal to promote feminist thinking in Hollywood. One of these voices was the beloved Oprah. And for some, specifically Seal, her activism was super hypocritical. Seal posted a meme on his Instagram page that mocked Oprah's participation in the movement. This is because there were pictures that showed Oprah and Weinstein acting all buddy-buddy and getting cozy with each other that Winfrey didn't acknowledge. Honestly, we're disappointed but not surprised, considering that nearly every big name in Hollywood and the entertainment industry had their finger in the Weinstein pie. We guess she should have done better. But knowing how corrupt the entertainment industry is, it's just sad to know she was just as twisted. That's a wrap for this video. Which of these Barts do you think were the worst? Did Oprah deserve all of them? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.